A long time ago, Abraham needed help. Who better to help him than his trusted helper, Eliezer? Eliezer, Abraham called out in a really loud voice. I need your help. It is very important. I need you to find a partner for my son, Isaac. But Abraham, Eliezer said, how am I going to know who to find? I really don't want to go. How will I know who the right person is? Kindness, said Abraham. Look for the person who is most kind. This is the true partner for Isaac. Eliezer really did not want to go. What if he found the wrong person? But Abraham told him that God would help out by sending along an angel to help him with this mission. An angel? That will definitely help. Unfortunately, Abraham had no idea at the time how God would send an angel. And frankly, neither did God. Everyone began to get ready for Eliezer's trip. Eliezer wasn't an angel. The other servants weren't angels. So that just left the camels. Eliezer and the angel had to see which person was the most kind without being noticed. God figured that if Eliezer took along a guy with wings, white robes, a halo, and a harp who floated through the air, they might be noticed. So that is why the angel had to be a camel. When God asked for volunteers to help Eliezer, nobody raised a wing. So God called upon Max. Max was the angel God called upon for all the really tough jobs. Max was the one who had to tell the extra lions and tigers that they could not go on the ark with Noah. Max was the angel who had to kick the snake out of the Garden of Eden. Max was the angel who had to collect all the slimy bugs for Adam and Eve to name. Max got all the tough jobs. The caravan to find Isaac a partner finally took off with Eliezer riding on Max. Max found that speaking camel was a cinch, but making the other camel noises was not so easy. Also, one of the girl camels liked Max and kept licking his nose. Camels squeak and squeak, grunt and grump, but not Max. He just walked along quietly, only letting out the occasional spit as camels are accustomed to doing. Now Rebecca, the granddaughter of Abraham's brother Nahor, was sweet and kind. She was beautiful on the inside and out. Rebecca especially loved animals. People in the town said that Rebecca could speak the languages of chipmunks and rabbits, lizards and snakes, <coughs> elephants, mice, eagles, and even goats. But Rebecca did not like camels. It was not the fact that they were ugly. She did not like the squeak and squeal, <coughs> grunt and grumps <coughs> that they made or the spitting so much either. <clears throat> One day, Eliezer and his caravan of 10 camels, really it was nine camels and a max, came to the well of the city where Nahor lived. They arrived late in the afternoon. Boy, was it hot. The women of the city were out drawing water for the flocks of sheep and goats. When the women saw Eliezer and his camel caravan, they shooed them away. Go! Get out of here! Find another well! Eli Eliezer started to leave, but the camels sat down and started to make every noise they could. Ah, ah, <coughs> oh. Rebecca came over to Eliezer and in front of everyone said with a smile on her face, You may drink from our well and your camels may drink too. 
Then Rebecca walked over to Max and looked at him in a funny way. She spoke to him in, a cam in camel, saying, You are very sweet. You did not complain. And you don't make camel noises. Come, you will be the first to drink. Max answered in, her ca in camel, My humps are still full. Water the other camels first. Rebecca led the camels to the well, and they drank, and Eliezer drank, and finally, Max drank. Rebecca worked most of the day drawing water for all the flocks and the camels. Rebecca was so kind to each of the camels and to Eliezer. Eliezer knew this is the partner for Isaac. In the morning, Eliezer asked Rebecca to return with him to become Isaac's partner. And she immediately said, yes. Rebecca looked all over for the quiet camel who did not make camel noises, but she could not find him. Up in heaven, Max was climbing out of his camel suit. God kissed Max in the way that God kisses angels and thanked him. Then God said, Max, in a little while, I'm going to need an angel to speak to Moshe out of a burning bush. There's a fireproof suit over there in the corner. Why don't you try it on for size? <laughs>